want to talk a little bit more about uh, the day of the African child. Maybe for those of you who were there when we only had one TV station, children were allowed to broadcast on this day. Well, I remember that because I was there. But Mary, it's good to have you uh, with us. Thank so, you. Um, let's talk about the significance, the theme, uh, you mm -hmm. know, of, of, of the commemoration this year. And it's talking yeah. about conflict and crisis in Africa and the impact on children. Mm -hmm. And this comes at a time when uh, there's a lot of conflict, uh, you know, in the region, if yes. not the wider continent. Yes. How significant is this today? It is very significant because what we have seen is violation of children's rights in conflict and crisis situations in the, in the continent. I think we are all familiar with what has been happening in the DRC, which people have christened the rape capital of the world. We, we've also seen what happened in the Central Africa Republic. And we also know what has been happening in terms of abduction of girls in Nigeria. But also beyond that, we have other violations also in countries where you don't have full-blown conflict. Mm. Because what happens, we say that um, peace is not absence of war. That's right. So we can say that there are still other conflicts happening, mm -hmm. even in our own country. That's true. Yes. I mean, Mary, and some uh, will remember if they've not heard of the reports of, uh, you know, what's going on in Burundi. And we say, mm -hmm. you know, peace is not the absence of war. Now, they may not technically be at war, but there's, there's a conflict. And in fact, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's uh, an incident that took place, was it yesterday or the day before, where more than 200 children have been sent home mm -hmm. uh, for allegedly defacing the image of President Pierre Kurunzinza. And many human rights activists are saying this is one of those cases where children suffer as a result of conflicts in yes, countries where we do. don't consider and we have seen yeah. if they are not are facing what you're saying in Burundi yeah. is a case of violation of their right to education or even their right to express themselves, right. which is enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights for All Human Beings. Uh, but what we have seen is the pervasive forms of sexual violence during conflict, uh, rape. Uh, but beyond that, as I said, is that even in countries where, I mean, countries that are not in conflict, mm -hmm. we, what is happening is tantamount to, to actually a uh, conflict. Yeah. Because if I come back to our country, we have seen acts of violence mm -hmm. against children by the police. We had the Langata True. situation. That's right. Uh, in the tourism industry, yeah. we are seeing a lot of uh, exploitation. sexual exploitation yeah. and abuse of children. Uh -huh. And we are also seeing the violation of the um, rights of children to education, to health, uh, through harmful practices. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have high levels of female genital mutilation, high levels of child marriage. Yeah. So um, we, we really need to really focus on how we can uh, address those challenges all so right. that we can uphold the rights of all children. Okay, and the Day of the African Child has hoped to, yes. you know, create awareness around that. So what would mm -hmm. you say um, have been uh, the gains or the improvements or the achievements we've seen mm -hmm. since we started commemorating this day in 1991 mm -hmm. to date? Has this day been important in terms of not just raising awareness but starting to say, let's put policies in place for this? There has been a lot of progress yeah. uh, because what has happened is um, if we look world over, many countries have signed on to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. In Africa, 47 countries have signed on to the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child, and they have gone ahead to uphold the rights of children in their constitutions. Okay. So in Kenya, we have a, we have a very good legal framework mm -hmm. to protect children from the Children's Act, from yeah. the Sexual Offences Act, and even other acts like protection from domestic violence, right. counter-trafficking, yeah. and, and even, free primary you know, education. Yes, the you Basic know, the Education yeah. Act. So in terms of the frameworks, uh -huh. we have made progress. Okay. And in Kenya, remember, we even have uh, hotlines where you can report acts of female genital mutilation, right. um, also and child marriage. And that's as a result of the Day of the African Child. Yes, so people, yeah. because the Day of the African Child offers a moment mm -hmm. for us to have a sober reflection uh, and also take action on the challenges that are facing children. Okay. So, uh, so it is time for us to take stock. So, and I think, for instance, in Kenya, we need to say, are we implementing mm -hmm. that beautiful legal framework? Mm -hmm. Yes, because you, you can have the, you can look good on paper, mm -hmm. 
yeah. but what about in the especially in the protection because we we tend to be very reactive okay. in that we act on fgm or sexual exploitation or rape when it happens Rather but we are not good in preventing so are we educating people on the rights of the children are we empowering the the children and when the cases come up are we ensuring that we are not doing out of court settlement yes. but we are enforcing the, the law. prohibition of fgm act we are, we are enforcing the sexual offenses act so um I think for us, the action that we need mm -hmm. is to enforce the law. Okay, we yes. already have those frameworks. Mm. What are we doing them with them? Good on yes. paper, but are we doing well on action? Mm. And in fact, that's what we need to um, mm. uh, you know, focus on and reflect on today, on the yes. day of the African child, the 16th day of June. Mm. Mary Wandia from Equality Now, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for your time and indeed providing us a moment of reflection. Mm. So it's about that time right here on News Center.